departure, the poem explores terrains of loss and migration, in a sense, local history and topography, again, out of North Leitrim, where I grew up. But it seeks to make connections to, uh, I suppose, a sense of an international and eternal pattern of displacement, migration, political upheaval. And there's a, a disturbance under the surface of this poem, uh, which speaks to the world around us all the time. Departure. The blue bus stopped too late. We were already on our way. We were already halfway across the mountain, and the nettles were heavy on our backs. If only we had known that we would not be coming back, then we could have taken what we needed. The cuckoo clock, the eel skin, a hen to lay eggs. But they didn't tell us, and we thought it better to travel light. Besides, there was no time to think straight. We passed one house, and the people came out to pray. The second house was empty, the shutters down. The lintel was broken on the third door. It was night when we arrived. There was one tree. The smell of meat cooking drove us mad. The people were talking a different language, but the beds were comfortable, and the cock crowing reassured us. Looking back, we should have known. At home, we would have killed a cock that crowed at night. But we were tired, displaced. Tradition was the last thing on our minds. <laughs>